to another episode of Tasty Mix. Where that's right, we review Way Watcher friendly recipes. I give them a taste, unless you know if you should make them or not. And today, I'm super, super excited because guess what? I'm trying another muffin recipe. Uh, I'm, you all don't know, but on a weekly basis, I make a dozen blueberry muffins just for snacks throughout the week. I love, love, love a low calorie, low point muffin. But it's gotta be one point. Gotta be one point. And so I was too excited when I saw this chocolate banana recipe um, from Sweet and Savory Steph. I've made her dark chocolate oatmeal bake before. And it's only one point on the Blue Program. Too, too, too excited to try these out. One of the ways that she keeps the calories down and the points down. Again, what was used in that uh, dark chocolate oatmeal bake was the Kodiak cake, dark chocolate protein pancake mix, and of course, ripened bananas and a few other things. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is preheat the oven to 350, which I've already done that, and then it says to spray our muffin tin with cooking spray so that our muffins don't stick. I know these are full size muffins for just one point, which of course that made me even more excited to make. So now we're going to start with the recipe says to use four ripened bananas or one and a half cups of unsweetened applesauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use three ripened bananas and half a cup of, of unsweetened applesauce. I love to purchase these little individual containers of unsweetened applesauce. This is already in a half a cup size, four ounces. Now the recipe says you can use um, a masher or a mixer to mix up the applesauce and the bananas or if you're just doing the four bananas. Got my vanilla extract. The secret ingredient, a cup of the Kodiak cake dark chocolate protein pancake mix. A tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder to make it extra chocolatey. I'm so excited tasters. A teaspoon of baking powder Gotta have something to make it rise. And though it's not in the recipe, because Sweet and Savory Steph likes to uh, not include artificial sweeteners in her dessert, she likes to do natural sweeteners. I like to put a little extra sweetener in mine, so I'm gonna do about a third a cup of the Great Value Splendor that I use for baking. Let's stir it all up. Ready tasters. Let's 
look at our batter. I think it's ready. We're going to use a fourth a cup and put that in our 12 cavity muffin uh, tin. Throw it in the oven for about 25 minutes on 350. What I'll do with the remaining is I will just divide it evenly among the 12 cats. I think we're ready for the oven tasters. 25 minutes and we will have our chocolate banana muffin for just one point. that's cooking you know I gotta give you a tip and that tasty tip for today deals with what to do when you get the your emotions get the best of you you turn to the pantry or something unexpected happens and you turn to food or this isn't a plan going out to eat or vacation or something like that you just have what some people call it a snack accident, a snack accident, or just, just letting your emotions get the best of you. And one of the things that my Weight Watchers leader likes to say is that you have to have something in your arsenal when these times come about. Not if, but when, because over the years, when you're trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle, things like this do happen. And one of the things that has helped me over the years um, is music. We talk, we've been talking about that in our Weight Watchers meetings this week about how music can energize you, it can get you back on track when you um, just engage in emotional eating or eating for one other reason when you're not hungry. And one of the songs that helps me, I, um, I oftentimes share with my husband, it's a song by Ty Tribute and it's called if he did it before, he'll do it again. Um, gospel songs tend to reinvigorate me, um, get me back on the right track. And that's one of my favorite songs that I just um, like to play to just help me get back on track when I've had one of those rough days. It says, if he did it before, he'll do it again. Same God right now, same God back then. So that's my tasty tip for today. Tasters, have some in your arsenal for when you engage in that emotional eating or when you have something in this world unpredictable world these days we're faced with a lot of things when we're faced with the unexpected have something in your arsenal that'll get you back on track reinvigorate you and encourage you to keep on going another day so that's our tasty tip for today hear that sound it's time for our chocolate banana muffin don't they look fabulous? Aren't you ready to dig in? Wouldn't this be a nice treat throughout the week? Who doesn't love chocolate? I looked it up. It's 79 calories a muffin. One point on the blue and purple program. And it is, that's per muffin. It is on the green plan. One point for one muffin, three points for two muffins, and four points for three muffins. Let's dig in. Make 
makes me feel like I'm about to eat a piece of chocolate cake tasters. Let's give it a try. We didn't save herself, she did it. You can't beat the taste of chocolate and banana. This is delicious tasters. I'm gonna enjoy these this week. This is gonna be replacing my blueberry muffins this week. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tasty Ness as I enjoy bringing this to you each and every week. Have an amazing week, tasters.